Hey guys, welcome back to the Cephalonix channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Build Strike Gundam. So, sorry about not delivering the Freedom 2.0 review. I was doing the expansion set review and halfway of the review and it just died. The legs just snap off and bye bye. So right now I'm looking for solutions. Some of the recommendation online said that using a wire, uh, some of it said that replacement parts. I email it to Bandai and hopefully they will respond to me, but I don't think so. So today, sorry about it. Well, how about we just focus on another request from one of the audience that, that he want to take a look at the Build Strike Gundam. So here we are, today we are taking a look at the Build Strike Gundam right here. About the Build Strike Gundam right here, I don't think I will be getting the Universal Booster because A, my local store don't sell it and B, I search it on eBay or Amazon, they are selling like $150 to $200. So it's like a premium and I. So I decided, no, I'm not doing the Universal Booster. I will only stick to the Build Strike Gundam and that will be it. One of the things that I want to talk about in this Build Strike Gundam box art right here is you're fighting a Saku Amazing, but then I don't release Saku Amazing. It's... <sighs> how, should I, how should I put it? Bandai, you're always so funny. You don't release the machine, the Gundam that we like. And <sighs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at this. And for the box art, it looks pretty cool. But as I said, I want my Master Grade Saku Amazing. Let's take a look at the side of the box right here. You will see the kind of like an introduction about the build strike on them right here. And then flip it to the other side. You will see weapons, gimmicks, and that will be it. Okay, so let's take everything out of the box and let's take a look at the runners. As usual, we will always start from the instruction menu. So first, when we're flipping it, you will see the build strike and then build booster, weapons and the builder and fighter information. But I can't read Japanese, so skip. Next, we we'll got the parts. Seems like the A runner got a lot of crosses. F runner got a lot of crosses. L got some of it. E parts, got some of it, and the rest of it is just gonna be like this. So let's just quickly flick through it. So yes, and at the middle right here, we got some kind of the anime, oh sorry, the episode explanation. And then we got the Bill Booster introduction. Yes, it's all in Japanese. I can't read any of it, sorry. And then the legs part right here. Yep, yep, yep. Keep flipping. Oh, this is the booster part. We also got an stand, uh, an action stand as well. And there's extra parts for you to put onto different type of gamblers. Yes, okay. And this is the markings right here. Hmm, the marking seems like a little bit too less, but okay. Starting with the L runner right here, gray parts. And this one right here is from the Air Strike RM version. T Runner from the Built Strike Gundam Runner, white, and you can see some weapons part on it. B Runner from the Seat X Armor, so I believe it's from the GATX series, so you can see some outside armor of the kit. E Runner from the GATX series again, so these will be the inner frame of the Gundam. The standing base. A runner from L Strike Gundam RM version. You can see some of the torso parts, some of the skirt armors, and then pilot figure as well. This one right here will be Kira Yamato. S1 runner from the Built Strike Gundam. So obviously, all I can tell is that this part right here is the thruster. This is the face. This is the uh, the red piece at the forehead, and also this one right here is for the shield. And the rest of it, I can't really tell. F Runner from the GATX series, in the frame again. H2 Runner from the L Strike RM version. This one right here, I think, is for the torso parts. C Runner from the GATX series, you will see the feet part. P Runner from the Built Strike Gundam, you can see the shield and the rival. And the rest of these right here, I'm not very sure about which part it belongs to. N runner right here, really colorful. I assume this is like the A runner of the build strike on them. Like, okay, so the A runner of this kit right here is from the RM version, and this N runner right here is the true A runner of the build strike right here. You know, you get what I mean. So we can see the new figure right here, 
and you can see some head parts, antenna, and some outside armor. Q1 and Q2 from the Build Strike Gundam. So this is the inner frame of the Build Strike Gundam. D Runner GATX series again. You can see some hands option. AM Runner from the RM again. So we got the inner frame of the torso and some part of the legs as well. O1 and O2. Seems like the backpack part and the beam saber. All the caps, beam saber effect parts. R1 and R2 Runner. Now, R1 and R2 Runner, I assume it's gonna be for the Build Booster. Now, two types of sticker. The left one right here is the sticker for the eyes and the sensors. The right one right here is the markings. Okay, we went through every single item in the kit, so let's go to the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Build Strike Gundam full package. So this is the finishing of it. I gotta say that I don't have any XG variation, so I have no experience on playing any variation about the Build Strike right here. Master Grade is my first time experience. And for the first part of the review, I will remove the backpack so I can show the articulation a little bit easier. And then near to the end, I will put the backpack back on and then let's test out, can it stand by itself or not? But I gotta say that the color for a Gundam is actually very important because right now you see that adding extra colors for the overall finish is very colorful, one and two. It's kind of like a different taste and style compared to the original unit. They both have their own unique style. And once again, it's proven that colors are important to the Gundam itself. Because look at that. It's very colorful and in my opinion, it looks very nice. The colors mixing together very well. Build Strike, in my opinion, one of the best customization ever. And also, you know, it's a different style compared to the original one. You can see that the colors is different first and then you know a little bit of different design and C I just want to say that compared to the original Strike Gundam color I prefer the Build Strike color better because this color right here look at that it's very beautiful actually just like the Master Grey Fantasy Renashita last time because Build Strike and the Fantasy last time is based on an existing Master Grey and then just adding extra runners to recreate the Build Fighter version so for a regular release Build Strike still have a lot of level verse like for example, the A runner, we can see some parts that got left out as well. And then for the B runners right here, I don't know which part it was belong, but it got some leftovers. And then for the D parts, we can see the shoulder joint got left out. And then for the L part, you can see the hands option here, but you're not gonna use it anyway. And then for the E runner, wait, sorry, it's not the E runner. Which part is this? Oh, M runner. Again, I don't know which part these belongs here, but Okay, so the E runner right here, the feet part got left out, and then for the F part right here, I think this part right here got the most left over. Yeah, these will be the leftover parts. Just like our usual reviews, we'll always start from the head. So take a look at the head right here, the antenna is different, and we also got the falcon gun part separation at the side right here. For the head articulation, moving up, moving down, and then moving 360, Moving 360 is a little bit difficult though because the back of the head right here uh, will consistently bump into the chest piece which affected the articulation as well. So you can see that moving 360 is possible but it's just a bit hard to turn. For the chest part right here, the design and the colors and the parts were pretty similar to the Strike Gundam. So not much things that I want to talk about. For the articulation though, moving back and front, back and front, very good. Moving side to side a little bit as well. But the turning though is actually quite bad, not even 30 degrees. So the turning part is not very good. Just like all the Master Grade, we can open the cockpit as well. But I gotta say that the Build Strike Gundam got a very annoying cockpit. So first, this blue part right here, you need to pull it out and then flip up. But to pull it out is very difficult because it's very tight and it's very hard for you to pull out because there's not much space in there. So first pull it out, move up, and then for the red part right here, again, it's very hard to turn again. So I'll just use some tool, just tip it there and pull down like this. So once we pull it down like this, 
you will see Kira Yamato sitting inside the cockpit instead of Se Iroi. Let's take a look at the shoulder right here. This shoulder right here, one of my favorite design because you know, very colorful and the armor shape is different as well. For the shoulder, we got a little bit of movement, just very little. And then inside the shoulder right here, you will see this gray thruster right here that you can adjust as well. Let's take a look at the arms articulation. So first, moving 360, easy. Lift up, wow. Amazing lift up angle. Take a look at this. Whoa, almost 180. Very nice. Moving to the front, mm, a little, could have been better. The whole arm can rotate. And then you know the whole bending touching the shoulders. Very nice. For the hands option right here, only thumb movable hand again. And then we got the hands option, just switch the bottom. For the hand options, we got the beam saber hand, we got the trigger hand, and we also got the open hand for you to switch. Let's take a look at the waist part right here. So first, the front skirt can lift up 90 degrees, very standard performance. For the side skirt, sorry, not movable at all, but if you don't want to bump into the legs, you can just move the side skirt to the back, so it won't affect the kicking angle. And also, we got the beam saber up here. In the model kit, we got a pair of beam saber effect part for you to put it on and use it. For the back scar part, they are connected together, so they are moving together. But I want to say that it's very good to see some red color separation inside the thruster right here. Now, let's take a look at the legs right here. So first, for the legs, you can pull down the spot right here to increase the articulation. So first, kicking to the front, 90 degrees, very nice. Kicking to the back, Wow, look at this. Whoa. Come on, take a look at this. Wow, the articulation is very nice. And then kicking to the side, 90 degrees because the beam saber is bumping into the legs. So, you know, it's kind of affected. For the bending though, very nice U shape right here. And you can see the linking effect again. For this little white part right here, we got a little bit of movement as well, but this part appeared to be a little bit loose. The moving feeling is just not that good. For the feet part, we can move to the front, move to the back, and then for the tip of the feet right here, we can move as well, move up, move down, just like this. For the back right here, you will see the striker pack connection joint right here, and then you will see the thruster right here, little bit of movement, and that will be it. Coming up next is the accessory part. So first, we got two pilot figures. At the left right here, we got Se Iloi. At the right right here, we got Kira Yamato. These parts right here are for you to customize Master Grade. If you want to put the Build Booster onto another Master Grade model, follow the instruction manual, put the pieces together, and you can connect the Build Booster onto another Master Grade model. Upcoming next is the shield. This shield right here, one of my favorite design, is pretty unique and is different than other Gundam's typical shield and the bright colors again made the difference. We got a little bit of articulation for the shield right here. So first, this yellow part right here, you can expand it, turn it to the back, you will see the connection joint right here to connect onto the forearm. To put it onto the build strike, it's very simple. Just find the part on the forearm and then just put it in and this is how you put on the shield. Very simple. Coming up next is the beam rival. We got three variation that you can play with. First, we got the beam gun right here, then we got the beam rifle part right here, and the enhanced beam rifle part right here. You can switch them around, it's very easy, you can just open them, put it in, clip it back, done. So I will show you how to do it, it's very easy. Starting with the normal beam rifle, all you have to do is to push in, and then pull this part, clip it back in. This is the normal beam rifle. For the enhanced beam rifle, extend the part, and then plug it in. pull it back, done. This is the enhanced beam rival. What if I don't want to use the rival parts? Where do I store it? Lucky for you, you can store it in the shield. So for the normal rival, there's a hole. You can store it right here. Just plug it in like this. For the enhanced rival, now turn it right here, you'll see a hole right here, connected to the back of the shield. And this is how you store it. Bill Booster. All right, let's take a look at the Bill Booster right here. So for the Bill Booster, you can see that it looks very cool for a support craft right here. You can see the wings, you can see the cannons. It's very nice. And then, you know, take a look at the little airplane right here. Turn it to the back. We can see the thrusters. I really want to say that this Bill Booster right here 
It's a very good design. I love it. Now, let's start with the articulation on the cannon. So for the cannon, you can move back and forward and then you can adjust the position as well. Very nice, very good movement range. And then when you flip up this part right here, oh, whoops, wrong way. You can see a handle in there so you can hold it and shoot it. Let's take a look at the wings right here. So first you can move up and the little wing right here, you can move as well. Let's flip it back. You can move 90 degrees. And then for the whole main wing right here, you can rotate 360, very good movement. And I gotta say that, take a look at the wings design right here. Wow, very good wings design, I love it. I almost forgot about this part. When you pull out the front of the craft right here, you can take out the landing racks like this. So how do we transform it into a backpack? Very simple. So first move down the cannons facing to the back, pull out and then move down like this. Rotate the wings 90 degrees this way. Yes. Move up and then do it to the other side. And this is how you transform the backpack. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another famous round, exciting round, popular round. Can you stand? Let's test it out. Can you stand? Yes, you can. Oh my God, you actually can stand. Last thing, we got a base in this kit right here in case you want to display it as the flying position. So where do you connect it? You see this hole right here? Just plug it on to right here. This is how you display it. Extra information. I was doing the ending part and I realized that the rifle weight is so heavy that the hands cannot even handle it. And you can see that the trigger hand is not very reliable. So if you're posing with the rifle, please be careful. And I suggest you, if you're not gonna play with it very frequently, just glue the hands because there's no way that soft, small ball joint is gonna hold all the weight of this rival right here. Extra information number two. I just realized that the beam saber cannot even be held as well. Look at this. There's a joint in there, but the beam saber is not holding together. So, you know, uh, it's kind of funny that the build strike cannot hold its own rival and its own beam saber. So I guess the only thing you can hold is the shield and the standard beam rival instead of the enhanced beam rival. I mean, the beam saber will not fall off just like the enhanced beam rival, but it's still pretty shaky as well. So this part right here is a little bit of disappointment. Thank you guys for watching this review. This will be the end of the Build Strike Gundam full package review. All I want to say is that Build Strike Gundam for a model kit itself is actually not that bad and it's quite stable as well. But for the weapons, the trigger hand design of the SIS series really have a problem where, you know, the rifle is actually not holding that good. Plus the enhanced beam rifle is quite heavy. So if you are planning to pose with the enhanced beam rifle, try to not throw your rifle on the ground because it's very hard for me to stabilize it. I took a long time to stabilize the enhanced beam rifle and I found out that no, it's not really that possible, so I switched to a beam saber pose and I found out that the beam saber cannot be hold very well as well and it's very shaky, so fine, at least it can still stay on the hand, so I would just end with a beam saber pose right here. Overall, I think the quality and the stability of this build strike Gundam right here is actually very nice, but some people will say that Master Grade never meant to actually pose with it or play with it, so if you are just Buying the Build Strike full package as display purposes, I think is still okay. But if you're posing with it, I hope you don't get too pissed about the weapons. That will be my conclusion. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this review, like this video, subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Donation links will be in the description and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.